Hey everyone, you know everybody's talking about how so far this year has been starting off a, a bad omen for the President of the United States of this year. Now, everybody's talking about the Watergate, how, how similar it is to Watergate, but um, here's what it is. I want to read it to you. Now, I was two years old at the time when this happened. Um, before the summer of 1972, the word Watergate meant nothing more than an office and luxury apartment complex in Washington, D.C. As a result of a third-rate burglar on June 17th of that year, it came to be associated with the greatest uh, particle, uh, particle, greatest goof-up scandal in century and would change lives in many people involved, especially Richard Nixon. Now, while doing his rounds at the Watergate Hotel in that early morning, June 17th, 1972, security guard Frank Willis found a door located between the basement stairway and the parking garage that was being prevented from latching by a piece of tape. He removed the tape and continued to his round and turned to the same spot later and discovered that this, someone had retaped the door and curiously now arose. He called the police around 2.30 a.m. After the police arrived, five men were wearing business suits and latex gloves were arrested in, in the office of the Democratic National Community uh, Committee. God, can't talk. Men had been repairing wiretapping equipment, according to some taking pictures of documentation. Now, the five burglars were later identified as Bernard Barker, Virgo Gonzalez, Eugenio uh, Martinez, and Frank uh, Sturgis and James McCord, Jr. Bob Woodward of Washington Post was present at the time. Arrangements of overheard of McCord mentioned the CIA in the connection of the op op uh, op there at the place. Now, another of the rest men identified as opportunity, uh, a tight communist. Uh, Woodward investigated further. It was later established that McCord was responsible for the support community to re reelect the president. Uh, now, re elect Republican Richard Nixon and others linked to the White House came to the light when the phone number for the E. Howard Hunt, a former White House employee, was found in Barker's notebook. Now, it later appeared Hunt and Gordon Liddy, who was a member of the Plumbers and therefore connected to the White House, had been stationed nearby where the communication in the burglars. Uh, the White House Special Investigation Unit, named the Plumbers, had been established by John L. Lichman uh, to prevent information leak from the White House and were also involved in virus activities um, protesting against the Democrats' anti-war protesters. Their most famous mission was the break in the home of the former Pentagon employee Daniel Ellsberg, where they unsexually attempt to prevent further uh, leaks to comp um, compromise information. The Pentagon Papers, four of the burglars, had CIA connections and had been involved by the Bay of Pigs invasion. Now, almost immediately, a cover was undertaken by the persons associated with the president and his campaigns. Uh, Jeb, Jeb, Jeb Murger, Murger, Magers, can't say his name, but try to, and other destroying documents and lied to the investigation. Now, the acting director of the FBI, uh, L. Patrick Gray, received and destroyed documents and Al, uh, Al who was the top aide of the president and from the White House counsel. Now, John Dean III, after learning from the White House chief of staff, Robert Heidman, on June 23, 1972, the former Attorney General John Mitchell, who was now running the community uh, to re-elect the president, might be involved. Now, President Nixon instructed uh, Heidman to head off the possible FBI investigation. Now, the President uh, Nixon uh, argued that the investigation might interfere with the CIA operation. Dean and other later tried to get the CIA to go along 
with a plan on July 1st. Mitchell re-signed the, the creep. He cited personal reasons. Now, Woodward's team up with Carl Burston. Burst. Can't. Carl. Carl. Uh, Burston to report the Watergate scandal throughout the summer. Woodward and Bernstein, there we go, received information from someone in, was inside the knowledge of the White House of source of the deep throat. According to Woodward, deep throat only can't confirm information that Woodward had already received from other re inside resources. The Post's interest in the case was not shared much of the newspaper, although the Post continued to investigate. A little more come to light during the balance of the campaign. Now, August 19th declared that no one then employed in his administration was involved with the Watergate on September the 15th. Indictment were handed down on the five men arrested on June 26th, plus uh, Liddy and Hunt. Now, on November uh, 7, 1972, Nixon was re-elected president in one of the most resounding landslides victories American politics history, losing only Massachusetts and the District of Columbia of Senator George McGovern. Information obtained from the Democrat National Committee Office was alleged used to aid Nixon in his re-election. Now, 1973, two months after Nixon's re-election, the seven indicted men were tried before Judge Scurley in the United States District Court in Washington. Five plead guilty and the court and Liddy were convicted conspiracy of burglar and legally wiretapping. Meanwhile, suspicions grew. The breaking in was part of the broad program. Uh, politics uh, expunged the United States Senate's vote conducted investigation. The grand jury continued to hear witnesses. Now, during a uh, hearing of, on Gray's nomination to be made permanent director of FBI, we revealed that he had given the FBI Watergate files to Dean, and testimony suggests that the other top White House aides were involved um, in the activities on March 21st. Dean wrote that to Rick, uh, Nixon, warning him that the Watergate had become a cancer growing on the presidency. He also said that the hunt has issued thinly veiled threats to tell about the plumber's activity unless they receive harsh money that night of $75,000 was passed to Hunt. Now, Nixon later stated that obviously he had began a new investigation of Watergate on March 21st, but never, but on March 22nd, he told Mitchell, I want you all to stonewall it, let them plead the fifth. Cover up anything else, if I'll save it, save the plan. Now, later, the judge, sorry, Received on the 23rd, McCord charge. Witness had committed perjury at trial, and that the defendant had been pressured to plead guilty, remain sent, hopefully to avoid severe sentence. The court cooperated with the investigation, implementing Dean and uh, McGregor uh, in the break in. Dean and McGregor, other White House CRP officials and investigators, were told that Mitchell had approved the break in and the transcripts of a conversation tape at the DNC uh, were given to a Gordon um, stretch in uh, for delivery to Hudman and Elwardman in order of destruction of the documents on April 30th. Nixon announced that re uh, resigning of uh, Hudman and uh, Elwardman, the firing of Dean Attorney Richard uh, um, Richard Kleinson uh, resigned rather than prosecute the man he knew. Now, Nixon and Albert Richardson, the new Attorney General, approved the creation of a special prosecutor's office headed by Archibald Cox, now of the Harvard Law. Uh, now, the state, state selected, Senate selected committee of President Campaign under the uh, chairmanship. The Senator Sam Even of North Carolina opened the public hearing in May. And in the in the end, forty government officials were indicted. Dean testified linked Nixon and his re-election fall, um, 
fundraising committee to cover up Hellman and Elgren and Mitchell denying wrongdoing and defy, uh, defying the president. Now, on July 16th, 1973, Alexander Butterfield, a uh, former White House official, testified to even community the Nixon had tapes his own conversation in the White House for a period of time, including an allegation of water gate cover-up. Cox uh, subpoenaed a number of tapes that he felt were necessary to investigate. Nixon refused to release them. Um, this is going to direct Nixon to let hear the tapes. Nixon appeal the order, arguing the president has immune from judicial order enforcing subpoenas. And under the conception of exclusive privilege only he could decide which communications would be disclosed. Now, all in all, it's gone through all the years and stuff, uh, how it ended up, and Nixon had several tapes, no, he had tapes underneath his desk, um, when recording, when he wants to record privately, um, and stuff, but evidence against Nixon, given the judge, the grand jury was turned over to the House Traditional Community, in which began impeachment investigation. Uh, the committee suspended, uh, subpoenaed 42 more tapes on April, 7, April 1974, on April 30th. Nixon released edited transcripts, transcripts, but the actual recording of 46 conversations, the only experts disagree, rather the transcripts establish that Nixon was part of the conspiracy. What was clearly shown Nixon's verbal speech habits and phrase um, eliminate uh, dele uh, deleted in intercommon use. Now, upon having opened its impeachment hearing on May 9th, the House community had already considered five possible articles of impeachment over a period of several days in late July. It proved three of them, Barbara Jordan discussed of the impeachment. Now, it is wrong, I suggest it is a misreading of the Constitution for a member here to assert that for a member to vote for article impeachment means that the number member must be convinced that the president should be removed from office. The Constitution doesn't say that the power relating to impeachments are assets checked in the hands of the body of the relationship uh, uh, against upon an echo of exclusive the decision division between the two branches of legislation the house and the senate assigning one the right to accuse and the other the right to judge the framers of this constitution were very absolute they do not make the accuser or the judges as the judge is the same person. Now, all in all, we know at the end that uh, Richard Nixon resigned, and Gerald Ford, who became the next president, um, Gerald Ford decided to that the nation need to move beyond the Watergate. So, on September eighth. He pardoned Nixon for any crimes he might have committed during the term as president of March 1st, 1974. Grand jury indicted seven former White House aides, leading Charles uh, Colson and Gordon C. Stretchin, Robert, well, all of them, <laughs> hard to say, for obstruction of water, Watergate investigation. Nixon has been named unindicted Chris Bursar in Dean and McGruder, along lesser figures in the schedule, had already pleaded guilty. Now, Collison later pleaded guilty to charges concerning the Ellisburg instruction. The remaining five went in trial in 1974 on January 1, 1975. Eventually, all the charges against him were dropped. Exerman went to prison in 1973, 76, and Mitchell and Helmut in 77. So pretty much at the end, 
Nixon was pardoned, but it's still leaning into the history of time. People can make mistakes. We're only human. We can't fix anything. We can't fix what we don't know how to fix. The world's falling apart. How we can fix what? We have to spend money to fix something, but we can't. If we don't have the money to spend, and the mess up around the world, I'm sorry. How can we fix something we can't fix anymore? Leave a comment. Talk to you later. Bye now.